Hey guys, welcome back to Didi's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today we're going to be making one of the traditional favorites of Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cuisine, shish kebabs. Yes, we're making shish kebabs. They're easy, they're simple, you can grill them, you can make them in the summertime, you can make them in the wintertime. Anytime you want, you can make shish kebabs. Now get this recipe and all of my other Mediterranean recipes on my website at ddmed.com. You can join my Twitter, you can join my Facebook, and you can chit chat with all kinds of people who like Mediterranean food. Now, we're going to go over the ingredients and show you how to put it together. Now, the ingredients are pretty simple. We have some green peppers cut into nice cubes, red pepper, tomatoes, onions, you have your skewers, which mean shish, that's where the word shish kebab comes from, this is the shish. And I have some filet mignon that's cubed up into nice sized pieces. I like to use filet because it's lean and it's very tender. We have some salt, black pepper, and of course, seven spices. Now, some people like to use um, steel skewers and, or uh, aluminum skewers, and some people like to use wood skewers. Wood skewers are so much easier because you can throw them away when you're done. But what you need to remember is if you're going to use wood skewers, make sure you soak them in water before you use them. That way, the wood won't burn while you're barbecuing the shish kebabs. Now, if you don't want to get filet, and I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, Dee Dee, it's so expensive. It's very well worth it, but if you don't use filet, try and use another meat um, that's a little bit marbly with some fat because other meats aren't as tender as a filet. So you're going to need the fat in the other meats to keep the meat tender. Um, uh, chuck would be too dry. Try using um, thigh meat, leg meat, um, maybe uh, the back meat. Any kind of meat that has a little bit of fat to it would go great. If you're going to use the filet, you don't need to have a lot of fat in the meat because the filet itself is very tender. Now, we have our uh, vegetables that are uh, cubed. Some people also like to use mushrooms, um, different kinds of vegetables. Whatever vegetable you like, you can put it in between the meat as a barbecue. Um, we have our filet that's cubed. I'm going to add about a teaspoon and a half of salt, just like that. We're going to add some fresh black pepper. Try and use fresh black pepper. It has a, a much more flavorful taste than if you get it uh, ground already. And these are pretty cheap. You can get them at any store for a couple of bucks. So just like that. We're also going to add uh, a teaspoon or two of seven spices. Seven spices gives it a, a nice worldly flavor. I'm also going to add just some olive oil. It helps the meat um, brown nice and crispy while it's on the grill. So just a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Now we're going to mix this up. Yes, use your hands. It's okay to use your hands. If you don't like using your hands, then just wear gloves while you're cooking with the meat. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to alternate the chunk of meat with a chunk of vegetable. Now at this point you want to make sure your uh, grill is preheating. You want it on a medium high heat um, because this is very tender meat. So you're going to cook it just like you would cook a, a filet steak if you like a medium rare, you can cook a medium rare. So I'm going to leave about an inch at the end of the skewer, poke in your meat. I'm going to use a piece of onion. Then I'm going to put, it's all up to you. You can put alternate meat, vegetable, meat, vegetable. You can do two pieces of meat, one piece of vegetable, whatever you like. So just like that. See? Put it on a plate. And then we can do some peppers in this one. Use green pepper. And these are nice Christmassy colors too, so if it's around Christmas time, you can use the red and the green. See? Christmas colors. It's kind of fun. Put the green pepper and put another piece of meat. Just like that. See how pretty that is? So you just keep going until you're done. And then when you want to barbecue them, 
you want to barbecue them, if you like them uh, medium well, you want to do about seven minutes on each side. If you like it medium rare, you want to do about five minutes um, on each side. So just like that. I'm going to finish these up and then I'm going to barbecue them. And I'm going to show you how to plate them up. We are done grilling. I want you to take a look at this. I just served them over some pita bread. You can serve them over some uh, brown rice with the vermicelli noodles. That recipe is on my website as well. See how they get all nice and grilled? Look at this. Look how that comes apart. It's so tender. Look at that. Mmm. It's so juicy. Unbelievable. Mmm. The best grilled kebabs you will ever have. You have to try this. It's so simple. Even if it's winter time, even if it's summertime, even if it's raining, turn up that grill. Try these shish kebabs. You are going to love it. This recipe is on my website, ddmed.com. Enjoy this. Enjoy me again at Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen.